okay hello friends this is yusuf here welcome to another interesting video about ibmi and nodejs so i have recently discovered few things so i just wanted to communicate that to you guys first of all uh, i have made one video few months before how to create the rest web service using nodejs in ibmi so here in this video i was able to access the physical file data or otherwise the db2 for i using the uh, inbuilt uh, module coming with the node.js in the ibmi okay which is called i think db2i okay uh, let me see db2a okay so now that is being deprecated and then they say we can use uh, idb hyphen connector okay it's a new uh, node package using which we can connect the db2 so we are going to test this one okay uh, and also i want to show you one more thing um, how to access the is 400 or the ibmi using the ssh okay so i have open putty here so i give you an here pub400.com with port 22 and then i'm opening it and uh, hopefully this should come if the ssh service is running in pub400 then it will come okay here it's asking the user id so i'm giving one user id 0443 okay so yeah, 0443 basically now what we are doing we are logging into the server as a uh, ssh way which means uh, if we can use now it as a like uh, linux environment okay kind of stuff so today we are going to talk about this idb connector okay so this idb connector is actually one of the node package so for that your ibm i should install with the node js application so here in pub 400 if i type node hyphen v okay you can see the node is installed here so if you are in uh, the green screen okay you can call qp2 term and then here you can type uh, just wait for a minute node hyphen v you should be able to see whether node is installed or not okay now let's come back so why i prefer this putty instead of this one because of the ccd issue sometimes and this will give us the clear picture okay so what i have done so i have created a folder so if we show the current directory is the home directory if i do a ls i have this directory called it test node okay let me clear this one ls hyphen l cd test node ls hyphen l so i created this folder as a plain folder then i was uh, installing the idb um connector package into this okay so if you are worked on nodejs you know that uh, you can do it using uh, npm init then you can initiate a node repository and then you can do npm space install space idb connector then it will in, it will download the idb connector and install into the folder called node modules folder so if you if you see in the back end also uh we we should be able to see that uh, the node modules now ca contain idb connector okay fine this is uh, with respect to nodejs but let, now let's see how to how to use this idb connector and then connect to our database and then get the data okay so i have the script here basically so this is how the script works okay so we are requiring this idb connector as a variable called anything whatever you want then we need to call a yeah, dbcon method provided in that thing and we store it in another variable called dbcon and then we need to say uh, which database we want to connect so by default star local will be your local directory local uh, libraries okay then we are doing that and then uh, we have two variables called statement and sql so statement uh, is a variable we are creating uh, and uh, connecting to this db2 i uh, we have method called db statement and we are passing what what is the library we have chosen so until this you can just hard code also because the standard statements after that you can create the sql code basically in a variable then you can do a stm.exec uh, pass in the sql statement and the result will come into the uh, callback function okay now we'll, let's see this in action so here if you see right uh, we're going to execute this right which means we should have the data so here when query user 04431 emp detail so i just saw this data available in the server i'm just going to use it and retrieve this information using the idb connector okay so here uh, if you see cat uh, i created a maybe i can create a new 
file for your friends okay to create a new file you can use touch then maybe app.js so it will create an empty file if you see uh, ls space hyphen l now you see the app.js is created with no data so to edit a file in putty you can use nano space app.js so nano is an editor uh, which will open up <clears throat> so what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, stuff now let me copy everything and paste it here okay and then i'm going to save this one control x y enter right so if you want to test this right what we have to do we need to type node space the file name app.js so what it is doing see it is fetching the data from the pf so here you can see we have five records right it is fetching the data and giving it as into in as a json format so you can see the array of object each object is actually a row okay so this is a simple prototype which is how to connect your uh, ibm idb2 using node.js package idb connector okay so then is everything is a javascript so basically if you want to see only the employee name so and then it's like a nano app.js and you can go inside and then uh, after we get the result uh, here we are, we are console log all the result right so instead of that what we can do uh, we can do something like uh, res dot for each so for each is a method we can apply on top of an array okay it's like this and what will do uh, it will give the each of each element of the array uh, as a function so here you can do you can create a function like this and uh, the function will have the one parameter data and this data is actually your individual data okay console.log data dot emp name because emp name is the column name right like this let's see if this works nano app.js sorry node app.js okay so it gives only the one column basically okay so this is the thing which i want to show it here so first thing you can connect your ibm i through the ssh terminals using a putty or any other ssh client terminal and then uh, you can do very well uh, this kind of web development uh, in your ibm okay so maybe in our next video we'll see how to create a web server and then expose this data as a web service and also as a web application maybe okay so i already did this based on the db2a uh, connector uh, as how to create uh, rest of services i think you can look for the video if you want to see immediately but later if i have time surely i will do it so that's it for this video i hope you got some uh, useful information i'll see you in the next video with a different concept thank you